yourself, I refuse to fear. Sometimes stand before that thing and say, I refuse to fear. Shout, I refuse to fear. Shout at it. Stand in the mirror in the morning. Tell yourself, I refuse to fear. 2023, I will see God in demonstration. I will see the evidence of God's work in my life. And many will see it. Hallelujah. Declare to yourself, I refuse to fear. I will not fear. Though dangers on every side, though troubles on every side, we will hear rumors on every side. It will be like the war on every side. But don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit was also telling me. He said to me, prove. Proving God. He said, look at how God worked with the Israelites. Look at how God brought them out of Egypt. Look at how God proved himself with them all the way in the wilderness. Praise the Lord. He proved himself. They did not plant. They did not reap. There was not a time God said, okay, you're going to be in this place. God never told them, okay, you'll be here for two years. You'll be here for three years. No. When the clouds stopped, they stopped. God never told Moses, this place they are stopping, it will be for two years. No. All they knew, their journey was going to be for 40 years. So every time they go to a particular place, when the clouds stop there, they stop. The cloud might stay there for one year. Moses has to keep looking at the cloud. The moment the cloud lived, they were always in readiness. That's why they could not plant. That's why they could not have to do anything. There was all, they were always in readiness to follow. So the moment the cloud lifts, the cloud will first lift and it will stay. That lifting tells them it's time to move. So the moment the cloud lifts, all of them begin to pack their tents. They begin to pack their tents. They begin to pack their tents. Then the cloud will lift up. The cloud starts to move. They start to move. Praise the Lord. They can be in a place for two years. And they can be in a place for one day. The cloud can stop and they stop. They sleep. In the morning, the cloud will lift. That means keep going. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor, Pastor Stan is talking about a journey. Just look at this illustration in your heart. And tell yourself, like he said, Holy Spirit, help me this year not to walk by my power. Not to walk by my might. But let me walk by your spirit. Let me follow you. When you go fast, I will go fast. When you go slow, I will go slow. When you stop, stop. Learn to hear when the Holy Spirit says stop. The reason why we make too many mistakes and we blow time away is because we don't listen. The mentality of the Christian is that I serve a living God. I serve a big God. I serve a great God. I serve a mighty God. He should give me this. I should have this. This should come to me. I must have this one. I must have this. After I serve a great God. God says whatsoever I desire. That is the problem Christianity is having today. So we cannot listen to the Holy Spirit. We fall into wrong businesses. We put monies into wrong businesses. We put, we do things by our own mindset of who God is. Who we think God is. You see small opening like this, you fall inside. You say, that is God. I've been asking for that opening. Is it God that opened it? You don't know when you're expecting an open door, the devil will open many doors. You don't know that? The moment you're expecting an open door, the devil will open so many doors. If you're not careful, you'll fall into the wrong one. Or wrong ones. Because he heard. He has heard your prayer. He has heard the prophecy. You must be careful to say, Holy Spirit, there are three doors before me. Which one should I enter? You'll be shocked at the time the Holy Spirit tell you none of them. And that's what most Christians don't like to hear. Until they get into a head and they break their head. And they say, ah, they don't look very good. Everything looks very good. And I enter, but now look at what has happened. No. Not every door is from God. 
not every help is from God. Hallelujah. So this race requires you to look deeper. Not just run a race, I'm running a race. And then they ask you, go, you need. No. When the Holy Spirit says, stop, stop. Sometimes we still think that when the Holy Spirit says, stop, it's a waste of time. You have had years you've been sitting in one place. Yes, it is not good. You don't like it. But could it be the Holy Spirit who put you in one place? You don't know. Could it have been the Holy Spirit who has put you, you have tried. You have flexed. You have tried. But yet you have done. It means that the Holy Spirit is part of it. Hallelujah. Many have gone up again of the Holy Ghost and have died. A man of God said, God can use any foolish thing to stop you. He can use any, God can use sickness to stop you. He can use an affliction to stop you. Any which way he wants to speak to you, God can use. And that's why I told you on, on yesterday, I said, devil is a servant of God and some of you were amazed. God can allow it to, to stop you for a while. You say, while has been two years. This while has been three years. What about moment? Do you know what moment is? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, this trial is for a moment. You count it for a moment. You've been there for two years. You've been three for three years. But the Bible tells you it's for a moment. And in that moment, it works out for you. It works out for you. It's working out for you. It didn't say it's working against you. That trial... For the moment that trial is, is working out for you a more exceeding weight of glory. He didn't say it's working against you, but yet it's a trial, but it's working for you. Hallelujah. You must understand the English Bible uses, the Holy Spirit uses. If you, if you don't understand it, that's where the problem is. And the scripture tells you in Romans chapter 20, uh, um, um, 8, 28, for all things work together work together for good and Peter tells you that this momentary affliction this momentary troubles are working for you a far more exceeding weight of glory and you're saying Lord I have sat down for too long I have been in one place for too long I have sat here for too long God I want to move God says be there I know what I'm taking away from your part I know what I'm taking away from your part if I'm your father let me be your father Hallelujah. And then it comes a time in your life after you have waited for so long. Then this zeal just shoots up within you. This fire to move just shoots up within you. Then you have to know that this is the time the Holy Spirit is asking me to move. It's not the fire of myself that I kindle. This is the Holy Ghost fire now. And you find out that by the time you begin to step out there, the lines just general, generally fall onto you in places and places. They fall onto you in places and places. You can be praying that prayer. The lines fall onto me in places and places. And yet, they begin to fall onto you in very rough places. Don't stop praying it. Don't stop praying it. You're going to pray it until the timing of your time. Praise the Lord. That the timing of your time where the lines fall onto you in places and places. And all the days of trouble. All the days that the lines fall in wrong places. You will not you will even remember them anymore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Run this race with understanding. Run the race, don't run it by yourself. They say, ah, this is the way you run there. They say, this is what is happening. You run there. This, uh, this one is paying now. You run there. Don't do that this year. Sit. Think. Pray. Holy Spirit, should I? The fact that three, four people are doing something and it seems to be working doesn't mean it will work for you. Praise the Lord. You don't understand? Three, four people are doing, say, this one did it, this one, this one did it. And you become the fourth person. And you're not entered. And it didn't work for you. Destinies are different. Hallelujah. Destinies are different. This one got promotion. This one got promotion. I'm not getting promotion. Keep praying. Maybe your promotion is going to come in triples. Hallelujah. Don't run your race according to another person. Run your race set before you. You, you, you. The race set before you. Not the one that is set before another person. Set before you. Praise the Lord. How 
God leads your heart, how you allow him lead your heart, is the way he wants you to go. I'm not talking about when you're an obstinate kind of person. You're just obstinate in your ways. No. When you're surrendered to the Holy Spirit and how he leads your heart, follow. Praise the Lord. Follow. Hallelujah. Listen to me. It's not easy. I've been in ministry for, I mean, full-time ministry for 12 years. And these chairs have not been full to the brim for 12 years. What, what do I look onto? I look onto God's word. Every minister wants the church to be full. But what is your motive? Praise the Lord. What is your motive for your church to be full? The motive is very important. So my motive, I check my motive for whatever I ask God. Praise the Lord. Then the Lord said to me, listen to me, Lord said to me, never join the bandwagon. If I go slow, go slow. If I go fast, go fast. So what is he telling me? Follow me. Don't look at another person. Don't look at another minister. Don't look at another prophet. Follow. So I follow. So it may look like I don't know what I'm doing. I follow. It may look like this woman since that many years. It's not about my church. I'm not doing church. Praise the Lord. I'm following Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm following Jesus. What is, the, what is the joy of any minister? In the end, I go to heaven. I can't see any of you. But I had crowd on earth. I can't point to the people that I shepherd and say they are here with me. Because in heaven, we might not be in one place, but we will know where you are. I will know where you are. This one will know that you are here because we are not in the flesh anymore. We are spirit. Hallelujah. We will know who and who is there. We won't need to see them with our physical eyes because we, don't, we are not going to heaven with our physical body. Hallelujah. We'll just know. Pastor, Pastor Stanley is somewhere there. Hallelujah. My husband. Is, but I might not stand with my husband in the same place. Because now it's a different race. Hallelujah. You will just know your wife is somewhere there. When, he, when he's not there, you will know she's not there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because people think heaven is... Uh, Heaven is one place like this that is so small because uh, it's heaven. You forget that the earth is the sm one of the smallest what? planets, right? Then you want to think what heaven will be, it will be like. Praise the Lord. Earth that you're living in is one of the smallest planets. And then you want to imagine what heaven, how large heaven will be. You miss it. Praise the Lord. You are in Lagos. Your brother is living in Suleri. How many times do you see him? Even in this Ikeja that we live, how many times do I visit my... Then you imagine. Hallelujah. Thank God for GSM. Hallelujah. So imagine what heaven looks like. You think everybody will just be in one small place and all of us will just say, no, 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 no. It's a, it's a vast planet. Hallelujah. It's a vast planet. So run your race for yourself. Run it proving God. If you have never studied God's word, begin to study. Let me tell you, when push comes to shove, it's still the word. When push comes to shove, push it away. Do whatever you like. Is this word will come back to. When the rulers and kings of this world go forth and back, they do all the mess that they are doing, agreeing to all the things they are agreeing, bringing policies that they are bringing, in the end, the word of God will never change. Hallelujah. The principles of God will never change. As much as man is drifting away from God's principles, drifting away from God's word to become a, an entity on his own, make laws on his own, and live by his own laws, God's word cannot change. Praise the Lord. I always say, when a man said there is no God, it doesn't change who God is. Praise the Lord. It doesn't change who God is. It just makes you a fool. Because the Bible says, <laughs> any man that says there is no God is what? A fool. So it is certain already that the person is a fool. Hallelujah. There's one man, an Israeli. He just became rebellious. An Israelite. He just became rebellious. And started talking, 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 talking. And sooner or later, people started listening to him. Eight years, 
just found out that recently they found out that initially had not come out as an atheist. Recently he has come out as an atheist. And everybody say, hey, hey. Because they need to understand where this guy has been going to. Now he said that in the few years to come, man, man that God created is going to do, is going to outdo God in creation. That's what he said recently. He said, man will outdo God. And do you know people that are reading his books? Presidents. Presidents are validating his books. That is why you see chaos in the world. The president of America was giving a speech, a Christmas speech. He couldn't call Jesus, and yet he said he was a Christian. He said, the one that they say, the one that Christians say is the son of God. Biden couldn't call Jesus. In his statement, he stated that the one that the Christians say is the son of God. The speech is there. Go and, go and look for it and Google it. Biden Christmas speech. Just, you will see it. So it's getting to a point where they cannot mention Jesus because their legends has shifted to the God of this world. You have not seen anything here too. So run your race. Your race set before you. Run your race set before Evil is blatantly. You know, I saw blatant and I saw open. It's not hidden anymore. So run your race straight. Hallelujah. That means this is a time where we will prove God like never before. In this age where people are thinking, is there God? Is there no God? Is there God? Is there no God? If God is there, why are things like this? That is a very foolish way of thinking of God. Praise the Lord. God is God. He is God. He cannot change. He said heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But not a jot. Not a title. That's not a, not a, not a full stop. Not a comma will pass without God's word being fulfilled. Praise the Lord. So those who have eyes are looking and seeing God's word. Those who know it's being fulfilled in our eyes. Evil is looking like it's getting ascendance. And check your heart. Check your heart daily. Check your heart daily so that you're not weighed down with dissipation of this world. And begin to wonder, should I serve God? Should I not serve him? Is the devil. Sooner or later, he wants to wear God out of the heart of people. That's what he's trying to do. He wants to so overwhelm the world with, with, with hardship, toughness, that he wears out God from the heart of people. Hmm. That's why Jesus said, they that overcome, they that overcome, like never before, that's the scripture is coming to fulfill. They that will overcome, that means they that will overcome at the end. Praise the Lord. They that will hold on to the end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You see me standing here. I'm not into rapture, rapture, no rapture. Mm -mm. My, my desire is to walk circumspect. To please the Lord. If it is by rapture, fine. If it is by death, fine. But when the end comes, I stand before the Lord. I say to him, Lord, I tried. I tried. I tried. Praise the Lord. It wasn't easy, but I tried. So it's not about rapture. It's not about any which way it comes. You just run your race. You just run your race. Don't let anybody trip you. Don't let anything trip you. Don't let money that you're looking for trip you. Don't let what you want to acquire trip you. But go on acquiring those things because you need it. Because the kingdom must be funded. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Go on. The kingdom must be funded. Because the gates of hell will not prevail. Hallelujah. Let's rise on our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.